Hello everybody, welcome to Time West Spend Kitchen. I'm Mirabe, your host of Time West Spend Kitchen. So if you know you've not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe please because I have so many videos that are coming up. I'm so glad you are here to watch. Watch till the end and see how we prepare Jiang Sang stew with sauté fish. It's very delicious. Back in the southwest province of Cameroon, we eat this a lot. I remember when it's cold, my mom would prepare this dish for us with plantain. So today, we're going to prepare this with plantain. So see how I make this dish. So those who have been there before, thank you all so much for keep liking and watching our videos. So today, we're going to prepare Jiang Sang uh, sauce with spice and sauté fish. So today, we have already washed our fish and spiced it with cubes and some seasoning some fish seasoning and some salt we have pepper tomato that we are going to blend we have garlic ginger grind a little bit of pepper we have a little bit of curry white pepper and black pepper here in my blender i have lots of onion this dish i put one and a half onion for two large fish there's the celery there i'm going to grind there's green onion there there's pepper lots of pepper and some tomato and also, I have garlic ginger grind a little bit in here. So I also have some grind that I kept. I'll be putting and watching. This dish is like pepper soup, but it's a dry jang sang sauce. I also have my jang sang in here. I don't know if you can see there. Um, you can see the little knots here, the jang sang. I'm going to blend these to paste. Then we can go from there. In this fry pan, I'm going to saute my fish. You can see I've put some onion to give that flavor. I'm going to make sure this gives some flavor. I think it's ready to put my fish now. I'm going to go ahead and put my fish and saute them. This fish will not be fried too much. It's just halfway fried. I want to give it that taste because I've prepared the fish. Some people put their fish fresh, but sometimes I like to do it like this with sauteed fish. When we are doing the one with fresh fish, I'm going to use the catfish with that one. But now I'm using a fresh, different kind of fish. I'm using a fish that needs to be sautéed. I really like this one when it's sautéed. You can see this recipe is for two. This is two large tilapia. I need to sauté it. I, can, I don't like to do this recipe with fresh tilapia. If it's mashwaran, which we call the catfish, I can do it like that. Because there's a way I'll treat the catfish that will, it's, it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to taste catfish. But I don't have catfish, so I'm going to use tilapia today, but I want to sauté a little bit. That's why this recipe is spice uh, uh, sauté fish, the tilapia fish, done in a sauce. You know, this sauce is really delicious. I can never forget how my mom will always do this for us when, we, when it's cold and it's rainy. We eat with plantain and we eat this dish with our hands, guys. We we'll eat all the bones. You can see, I didn't take away all the bones. There are some bones there. We eat this dish with all the bones, we suck everything. That's why with this, with this tilapia, it's good for you to be sauteed and dry a little bit so it's crunchy when you eat it. I'm just gonna go ahead and grind this until it's, it's like puree, it's like sauce. It's gonna be like a sauce. It's gonna taste really good, guys. So my sauce is ready. Let me show you the consistency. See, it's so saucy. That's perfect like this. And you want to make sure all the jang sang is blended. If you already have grind jang sang, just put it inside the mixture. It's best. But I tried to grind mine, but I think it's good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start cooking. I have turned the size of the fish. You can see it's not totally cooked on one side. It's half cooked. This is because we are going to see put this fish into the jang sang sauce. And we don't have to cook it for too long. We're just going to saute it together with the sauce and mix everything and blend it. And then the spice of the jang sang... Then jang sang sauce will go into the fish and cook for like 10-15 minutes together with the sauce and the fish will be totally cooked. So it can have that jang sang flavor. Just stay tuned and see how it looks like. Look at the fish, the sauteed spice fish. It tastes really good guys because the garlic, the ginger, little spices I put there, the fish spice, the, the cube, the salt, it makes the fish really taste good. Before I fried this fish, I sauteed this, I kept for like 30 minutes, so that's why it really tastes good. And like I told you, it's because it's tilapia. If it was catfish, I will just do it straight without frying. So I'm going to use the same oil I used to fry the fish. Remember, this oil has fried onion flavor. Before I fried the fish, I sauteed the fish, there was onion in the oil. So this dish has a lot of onion. It's so appetizing. 
So this is warm a little bit, then I'll fry more onion because I still need that flavor to add. Then just watch and see. So I have my onion going. I'm gonna fry this until it gives all the flavor. I'm not gonna make this onion to burn. I really like the onion to be soft. So when you're eating with plantain, you can really eat the onion. I think the onion is okay like this. You don't want to cook it too much because you really want to eat your plantain and your fish together with the onion. It feels like roasted fish and your onion that has been treated, you eat together with plantain. It's so delicious. The next thing to do is to put your jangsan sauce that you blended with tomato, celery, and all the ingredients. And then you put your bay leaf, your black pepper, white pepper, you know, and a little bit of uh, fish spice. Then you put one more pepper to just make sure it's heat enough, don't burst it. If it's not too hot, then you can squeeze this pepper. You can see it's saucy. This dish does not need water, guys. I mean, if you want to put water here, you can barely rinse your blender that you blended the, the jangsan with. That's it. You're going to cook this on a very slow heat, slowly. If it's getting too thick, you want to put a little bit of water and make sure it has to be like this saucy. That's how it has to be. And don't put too much oil. So we're going to keep this cover and taste for salt and cubes until it is ready. Cook on very low, medium heat. Oh la la, this is so good. You can see that. This is really saucy and you want to taste for salt and cube at this time. Taste for all your ingredients. Make sure they are really balanced before you put your fish. My dish is ready. It has a, a good amount of salt and cubes and my ingredients are great. The pepper is not too hot. I love it that way. I have managed to squeeze the one I put, the full pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and put my fish now. When you are putting your fish, before you put your fish, make sure your make sure your sauce is not too salty, because you know there's salt in this fish and there's cube in this fish, so you wanna estimate and make sure that um, when you put your fish, your 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 dish not become too salty, you know. So I tasted mine; it was just great. And now with the the saltiness of the fish and the ingredient, at this point you don't want to put any water in this dish all you have to do is to shake like this shake so i'm gonna give it a cover so the sauce and the fish can mix together very well and i will shake this from time to time and make sure the fish becomes well cooked and the sauce will dry up a little bit and our dish will be ready don't go away and see how it will look like when we are done delicious wow hey guys check this out i don't know how to tell you you can see for yourself with this dish when it's cold plantain oh my god delicious mm. you can suck all your fingers guys hey when you try the dish at home make sure you eat this dish with your fingers don't eat with spoon because you're not gonna enjoy it fingers guys this is time well spent kitchen now watch how I'm gonna plate this. And you can eat with your partner, with your friends, your family, but this one is for two. All of this fish is for I and my husband, guys. It's two people. Because if you do for many people and you don't have enough fish, it's not gonna be really good. You know, you have regrets on people's faces. It's better you do enough if you have five people, eight people coming. Make sure your fish and your sauce is enough because when people start eating this food, they don't stop. They keep sucking their fingers so this is for two don't go away see how i play this thank you all so much thank you stay tuned check out my dish guys my friends my my friends check out my dish check out this dish guys on a rainy day you can hear thunderstorms jangsan sauce 
with sauteed fish, very spicy, and plantain. And this is hibiscus drink. It's not wine. I don't drink wine, but this is hibiscus drink. This is how we do it on a very rainy day like this. Look at this. Check out the fish. It's really sauteed and tasty and cooked. You know, don't put too much oil on this dish because Jansen can produce oil. Look at this. Smells so good. If you are in time West Bank kitchen now, <laughs> your nose trees could have been telling you something. This is so delicious, guys. Thank you all so much for watching Time West Bank Kitchen. Like, subscribe, and share with your family. Pra try this at home, practice it at home, and let me know. Please share my videos, subscribe to our channel because we have not started yet. The number of dishes that are uploading in our channel, <laughs> just subscribe and watch and see. Thank you so much, and may God bless you all abundantly in Jesus' name. Enjoy! Bon appétit! Thank you!